Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do this tutorial and show you how you can get eyelash extensions at home with something from the drugstore. I absolutely love the look of false lashes, but sometimes I just don't want to be bothered having to put them on every single day. So it's nice to just have something that's a little bit more permanent. But I kind of wanted to try professional eyelash extensions, but then when I looked up the price, on average it's like at least $200, which uh, no, I'm not about that. So I found something at the drugstore that costs you $10 that you can do at home. It's pretty easy, pretty quick, and they last a decent amount of time. So what I'm talking about are these Ardell individuals. Well, okay, I kind of have my kit all apart because I obviously was just applying them, but you get a bunch of lashes like this, and then it comes with your glue and then your remover and a little pair of tweezers. So that's this, this is the starter kit. You can find this obviously online, but also Walmart, Target, most drugstores should sell it. If you aren't able to find the starter kit that comes with everything together, they do sell everything individually, which is what I did the very first time I got this. So you can get a pack of just like the individual lashes and then just the adhesive and use tweezers or whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna jump right into the tutorial and just show you how to apply them, share little tips and tricks here and there, and then I'll talk a little bit about how to take care of them and how long they last and all that stuff. So all you're going to need to do this is obviously your starter kit and then a piece of aluminum foil. So first things first, I'm going to take a makeup remover wipe and just rub my eyes. Obviously I don't have any makeup on, but just to make sure there's no leftover makeup or oil. That's like the most important thing because if you have any oil, that's going to interfere with the glue and your eyelash extensions are not going to last as long. So if you are using the little kit like I have here, then you're gonna have two little bottles. The green one, I mean, they're labeled so you can see for yourself, but this is the remover. So obviously we don't need that now. We just need the adhesive. So I'm just gonna open this up and I have my little piece of aluminum foil here. So I'm just going to take A little bit if it'll come out you don't need too much obviously but you can always go and pour a little more out if you need it in the future so I'm just gonna let this sit just for a few seconds and while it's doing that I'm gonna go to my lashes and these are the little tweezers that come in the kit so obviously when we're applying these we're gonna wanna put the short lashes towards the inner part of our eye, medium ones in the middle, and then longer ones on the end. So it'll just kind of give a really natural looking flared out look. Um, so I'm gonna start with the inner corner with the shorter lashes. So I'm just going to get in there and just pull one lash out. And make sure that you're holding it in such a way that it's easy for you to place it where it needs to go. So if you need to like move it with your fingers and re-grab it, just figure out how you're gonna be able to place it exactly the way you want it. Do that before you put glue on it, so then that way you don't have to be touching it and all that. So I have it in my tweezers, ready to apply. So I'm just going to dip this very gently into my glue and make sure that you don't get too much. A little goes a very long way. You just need the tiniest bit on the very tip of it. Try to not get any glue on the actual hairs um, and don't put too much because then when the glue dries, if you have too much of it sitting there, it'll kind of it'll just be like clear glue sitting there and you can kind of see it a little bit. So the less glue, the better, trust me. And then the most important part and where I think some people mess up, we're gonna place this onto our eyelashes, at the base of our lashes, not on our skin. This is not the way you would apply strip lashes. Um, if you get it on your skin, 
it's not bad it's just not going to last more than probably like a day so on the actual lash there you go and you're basically just going to keep repeating that like a gajillion times <laughs> and I think when you're going to grab your little lash cluster the closer to the base of it that you hold the more control you'll have when you're placing it and I like to when I'm placing it like just kind of wiggle it around a little bit make sure it's really like touching those eyelashes and it's really attaching to the hairs and make sure that you're giving your glue enough time to sit on the aluminum foil and get tacky it usually needs about 30 seconds to get tacky enough all right so i went all the way across on this eye and you can see a pretty dramatic difference compared to the one without any extensions um so so far i did four short lashes five medium ones and then two long ones on the end so what i usually do is i will go all the way around one time and then if I want them to be a little bit more dramatic like sometimes I just want them to look a little bit more natural um, so I would just keep it like this but if I want them to look a little bit fuller and more dramatic then I will go through and add some more just in between That's basically it it can be a little tricky I know the first like two times that I had did this it took me a long time like it takes a while before you kind of get into the groove of it um, so if you are having a difficult time, just try to not get frustrated, just be really patient. But yeah, this is what the final product looks like without any mascara or anything. Now the glue will dry within like a few minutes, but I find that it kind of takes a few hours before it's like really, really permanently rock solid and, you know, in place, not going to go anywhere. So I suggest doing this kind of late afternoon maybe right when you get home from work so that you have a few hours where you're not going to be applying any makeup um, not going to be showering and getting your lashes wet not going to be sleeping just time where you're just going to be sitting not touching your face and you can just let it completely set and dry for as long as possible even still i do find that i'll usually have maybe two or three here and there fall out because maybe I accidentally placed them on my skin or they just didn't like grip onto my real lashes well enough. That'll just happen. Um, it's not a big deal. And they give you, in the little kit, they give you more than enough lashes. So if that does happen, you can just go and replace them if you want. Once they've set properly and they really are clinging on there, they should be good like you should be able to tug on them and they won't come off now as for how long they last the kit itself says that they can last for weeks which is very vague i find from personal experience mine typically will last about a week to a week and a half but i have extremely oily eyelids so i think that plays a really big part because oil is what will loosen the adhesive it depends how rough you are how well you take care of them but on average i think you can definitely expect them to last at least one week maybe even up to two weeks and maybe even a lot longer than that i mean it all really depends so how you take care of them um you can apply mascara eye makeup eyeliner stuff that you normally would but obviously keep in mind the more you're messing with them you're gonna kind of cut down on the amount of time that they'll last you when you're going to remove your eye makeup make sure you use an oil free makeup remover because if you use something with oil in it it's just gonna loosen the adhesive and take the extensions right off you can get them wet you can go swimming I've gone swimming with them in chlorine and in the ocean so yeah you don't have to like completely baby them but just, you know, use some common sense and try to avoid oil as much as possible. As for removing them, the starter kit does come with a remover. What I have used in the past is oil. I've used olive oil. I've used just like Moroccan oil for my hair. And that works really well. You basically just want to take a little bit on your fingers and just keep massaging it. And eventually it'll just loosen the adhesive and they'll just fall right off and it shouldn't take any of your real eyelashes off with it just be really careful when you are trying to remove them don't pull at them remember they're holding on to your eyelashes 
so you don't want to just pull them out make sure the adhesive gets loosened first and they'll just naturally fall off on their own so yeah that's basically it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful maybe learned about a new product if you did please give this video a thumbs up and maybe share it with someone else who might like it if you have any questions then go ahead leave them in the comments and i'll definitely get back to you and other than that i'll see you in my next video bye Here's our kitchen. Is this the switch? I love those. Yeah, I, I love this kitchen. It's like perfect. It's like nice and open.